late to everything. I'll probably be late to my own funeral. But this time, at least I have a good reason. I'm supposed to meet Larry out in the middle of the Mojave National Preserve at the Kelso Railroad Depot. It's an old historic railroad depot that's actually, well, decommissioned or closed. But they're opening it today for a special occasion. I guess the Union Pacific Railroad is celebrating the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. You know, with the golden spike and that whole thing. Well, Union Pacific is celebrating that by bringing back one of its giant steam locomotives, the Big Boy. And it's supposed to chug into Kelso Depot at high noon. So I find myself in the interesting and frustrating position of hmm, racing a steam locomotive across the desert because I want to get to Kelso before the train does so that I can get some footage of it rolling in. I feel like I'm in like a John Wayne movie or something. I gotta get to the depot by high noon to beat the steam locomotive. <laughs> I mean, this is 2019 last time I checked, but gosh, sometimes it feels like I'm living in 1872. Anyway, I still have 33 miles to go and it's 1134. It means I have 26 minutes to go 30, well now 32 miles. So don't tell anyone, but I'm going to step on it and try to get there in time. So I better stop recording and focus on the road. Actually, I might see the train on my way because I did check the Union Pacific's website and it had the whole route mapped out for this thing. This steam engine, this big boy, has been on sort of a promotional tour around the entire western U.S. It did a giant loop from like, I think San Francisco all the way to like Kansas City and then down through Texas and back to L.A. Like a giant loop. And in fact, it was in Vegas this morning it left Las Vegas at 8 a.m. and the next stop between Vegas and uh, Kelso was SEMA and I'm about to pass through SEMA up here in a few miles so I'm pretty sure it's already left the depot in SEMA but if I'm lucky I just might catch up with it somewhere between SEMA and Kelso I think the road I'm on parallels the railroad tracks so well, I might literally be able to race the steam locomotive. Okay, I'm coming up on SEMA and the train has left the station. There is no railroad of any kind, steam locomotive or diesel, on the train tracks here. So that means this train has already left I'm 20 miles from Kelso and I have 15 minutes. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm in one of those horrible word problems. If a train leaves SEMA at 11.45 a.m. Ah! I always hated those things and now I find myself living one. You'd think a 2017 Toyota 4Runner ought to be able to outrun a friggin' steam locomotive. I mean, I'll be honest, I was kind of banking on this train running behind schedule because I know how these things are, but apparently the Union Pacific takes its timetable very seriously. I'm 15 miles from Kelso, I got 11 minutes to noon, and the train is nowhere in sight. I'm driving right alongside the railroad tracks, so right here on my left, and uh, I haven't seen anything. So, Either it's just ahead of me out of sight, or it's already at the depot. 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Oh man, oh, I hit a traffic jam 10 miles out from Kelso, and I can actually see the dang locomotive just up ahead on the left. But I can't get to it, because there's all these other looky-loos on the road ahead of me, and unfortunately, they're not driving fast enough. Don't they know how important this is? Come on, guys! This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity! We gotta beat this friggin' steam locomotive to the depot! 
Oh, I can actually see the front of the locomotive. I don't know if you guys can. And I can see Kelso, and there's still a gap between it. So if it wasn't for all this friggin' traffic, we actually could beat the train to Kelso. I can't believe I'm actually going slower than a friggin' steam locomotive. Ugh. Oh man, look at that guy. He decided to pass a bunch of cars. What a jerk. You can see that everybody's in traffic. What, what are you expecting to do, bro? Had organ plates, no wonder. You know how those Oregonians are. Oh, well, it's 12 o'clock noon, and I'm still 8.7 miles from Kelso, so I'm not going to see the train pull into the depot. In fact, I'm coming up on the train that I saw in the distance, and it's not the steam locomotive after all. It's just the regular Union Pacific train, which I guess had to stop in order to make way for the big boy. So I was rushing for no reason, but hey, if you're into trains, check it out. There's the regular Union Pacific hanging out on the train tracks, waiting and probably even angrier than I am. So this guy's just trying to get where he's going with his freight, not mess around with a steam locomotive. Dang, that's a long train. Look at all those containers, probably full of flip-flops and matchbooks and all kinds of pointless BS. Ah, golly, that traffic jam was gnarly. Because of all the traffic, I'm 30 minutes late. So I definitely missed, oh wow, look. It's like a really old, like a suburban or an international. Anyways, I missed seeing the dang train pull into the depot, but I'm in luck because at least the train is still here. Look. Oh wow, cool, so that's like, the modern engine back there but up here at the very front is the big boy steam engine and it looks like it's not going anywhere anytime soon so we might just be in luck I got here just in time to get an up-close peek at it wow how cool is that look at all the steam coming off the top well you can barely see it from here okay dang there are a lot of people here to look at it I want to look at a steam locomotive, but it is pretty impressive. I mean, holy cow, look at these wheels. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Unfortunately, Larry's here somewhere, and he'd be able to tell us yeah. what everything is, but I don't know where he is. Wow, look, that's the number of the train, 4014. I think there's like seven of these big boys left. And this is the one they take out and show to people. Wow, look down here. It's like steam coming out. Holy cow, this is intense. I think this thing weighs like a million pounds or something. Oh gosh, I looked it all up last night and I already forgot it all. Okay, here's the front and look at the label on it up there. I'm not sure you can see it because of the sun. I'm going to zoom in. It says it's made by the American Locomotive Company in the Schenectady Works, in November 1941. Wow. That is so cool. When I come into the shade, maybe it'll be better light. Looking down the length of the big boy steam locomotive. Golly, look how greasy and dirty it is. <laughs> I mean, look up close here. Boy, I sure would hate to get my fingers pinched in that. Man, look how look at all that grease. Gnarly. And then look at these friggin' arms. Man, we gotta be here when this thing starts going. Cause it'll be fun to see these arms going. All right, I don't know if you call those arms. Those are the things that make the wheels turn, right? Oh man, I gotta find Larry. I'm hopeless. But I don't know how I'm ever gonna find Larry in this huge crowd of people. There's a lot of people here. He's out here somewhere. And then there's the depot in the distance. I gotta go check that out after. Hi, John. Holy cow, look, look at these. Look at the engineer, how cool. Ah! Man, 
man, that guy has the greatest job in the USA. Sounds like it's getting ready to go. Oh, they're getting ready to go. Look, he's saying something on the on the horn. I'm guessing they didn't have those CB radios back then. Uh oh, what's going on? Is this thing about to take off? Do I need to move? Look at how much water is coming out of it. I wonder what that is. Something to do with the steam generation, I guess. Wow. Man, I am so jealous of that guy. I want his job. How cool. Look at the bell. That is so freaking cool, man. I can't wait to see this thing start up. Oh, here it goes, look. Whoa, look at these arms moving, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, oy. She goes off into the desert, bound for Barstow. Oh man, that is so neat. And here's the regular old train. Pretty cool too though, if you look at these wheels. The guy driving this thing is like, what about me? What am I, chopped liver? Holy wow. That was amazing. Man, I should get in my car and like haul ass to Barstow now and try to catch it there. Look at this guy. What about me? I'm cool too. Oh, look. Advertising. Man, I'd love to go on a, one of those overnight train trips. Like stay in a sleeper car. That'd be amazing. I don't know if Union Pacific does that. I guess they do. Or maybe that's just Amtrak. There it goes. Bye, big boy. Oh, wow, that was one of my YouTube viewers right there, this badass lady named Linda. She rode out here on a motorcycle. Cool chick. <laughs> Look at her go. Man, there's all kind of people that were out here to see this train. Holy moly. Yeah, I met quite a few of my fans, actually. A bunch of really nice people out here. But now, I gotta find the one person that I'm really looking for, and that's Larry. He's here somewhere. He told me he camped uh, at the Kelso Dunes last night, so he'd be here bright and early. I'm sure he got some really good footage of the train coming in. Meh. Oh well. Let's go inside the depot and see what's going on in there. Now, I already made a video about Kelso, so if you're interested, you can look that up. But this is the old historic railroad depot from when Kelso was an actual town. Now it's really just more of a visitor center for the Mojave Preserve. But Larry is surely hanging around here somewhere. But if I know Larry, he's not going to be around all these people. If I know Larry, actually, he's probably way down the track somewhere getting some crazy shot of the train. Hmm. Let's just walk around and see what we see. Look, here's Larry. Finally. Ah! Larry, I finally found you. I've been looking for you all over. I've been here. Did you get some amazing footage? I got amazing footage. I'm not surprised. Oh my god, I can't wait to see it. Uh, yeah, it, on your way. <laughs> All right, well, now that I found Larry, I guess I can wrap this up because... Unfortunately, my microphone wigged out at this part of the video and all I got was an annoying high-pitched shrieking whistle. But hey, at least it waited until I was just blabbering about inconsequential nonsense and didn't screw up when I was recording the locomotive. All I was trying to say anyways was something like, Wow, wee, what a cool experience that was. Even though I didn't make it to the depot in time to film the train coming into the station, at least I got to see it up close and meet some really cool people. And I also learned a very valuable lesson. If a train leaves Vegas at 8 a.m., a hussy better take a page out of Larry's handbook and camp out in the dunes the night before if she wants to make it to the depot in time to film it coming in. <laughs>